there thank you so so much for clicking on this video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you or showing you my skincare routine both morning and evening and i'll also be talking to you about some of the skincare products or ingredients that i have dropped since i got pregnant because they are not safe for my baby and i hope you enjoy the video i hope you learn a thing or two you're going to be doing both the morning and the evening skincare routine right now it's morning as you can see the sun is bouncing <laughs> on my skin and i've already taken a shower so i'll be sharing with you my morning skincare routine some things have changed from last time uh, uh, some uh, products here and there and uh, that's what i'm going to be showing you in case this is your first time you're meeting my name is Masi, and i make content about lifestyle of a stay-at-home mom and i also do a video here and there about skincare because it's something that i really really love something that i'm i'm genuinely so much interested i do so much research you'd think i <laughs> i own a beauty shop um but for me it's just to empower me and to give me knowledge so that i can make uh um inform decisions when it comes to the products that i put on my skin and so especially right now that i'm pregnant i did do a bit more research um because there, there are so many products and there are so many ingredients and for me i wanted to know what each ingredient is in details and if it can affect my baby or not and so from that i found some few ingredients here and there that are not actually recommended to use when you're pregnant so i'm going to be sharing with you all that jazz also as uh what is it called um caution i am not a, I'm a dermatologist i'm not uh any like cosmetic formula or anything like that i'm just a normal girl who is just genuinely interested in just taking care of her skin so in case you want to make like proper informed decision please do your research and find out what works for you so enjoy the video guys i don't want to talk much let's go and get this face clean so i have done more videos before like previously um like the basics of skincare and what have you so for me um I'm just still following the simple routine. You know, something that I, I came to realize, I attend some of these uh, beauty companies, the one that produce all these skincare products, uh, their aim is to get you to buy so many products and at times you actually do not need so many products so uh for me my routine is very very simple it just follows the basics which is cleanse treat and protect so we're going to be seeing all that if you want more information i have more videos please check them out but for today let me just show you the product and the routine in case um the video is helpful please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing okay so to cleanse my face in the morning i use the simple moisturizing facial wash this one um so i just wet my face i'm going to be using mm -hmm. this is how it looks it's like creamy white and yeah i just it's it doesn't have any smell. Make sure I do. I at least wash my face for uh, a minute, sixty seconds. If you want to learn more about cleansers, <laughs> let me call them cleansers. I have a whole video uh, explaining to you if you're a beginner in skincare, you don't know how to choose the right cleanser for your face. I have that video to really guide you. You can. Check it out. So and then I just use my um, dedicated face towel <laughs> to just dry my face and remove the extra product that might have been left. Just like that and then I'm just going to let it 
yeah dry so that's how my skin is looking after cleansing <laughs> that's how my skin is looking after cleansing and um the next step is to treat and here is where we use like the serums this is like the most sensitive part of skincare because um this is where you treat um or you address any issue that you have with your skin you know issues like dryness pimples and aging so this is like the part of skincare that i always say do not copy from um your neighbor or from somebody else this should be targeted towards your specific skin skincare concerns and for me um my skin is pretty okay <laughs> let me use that word but it's pretty good so for me like right now my only concern is you know and aging you know and for the products that i'm currently using i'm using this vitamin c serum this has been such a good product i love it and 100 percent recommend it and the best part is it is also safe for expectant moms so the anti-aging aspect is just to you know slow down i know it's coming it's it's happening even right now but i got to um slow it down so i use vitamin c serum and vitamin c is a very good antioxidant as well so um at times i use that and other times i use the ordinary this is actually new i just bought like a week ago um this is the ordinary resveratrol three percent plus felluric acid i have shown you this product before this is also a very strong antioxidant so um i love to use this during the day because at times i'm, I'm going somewhere and you know the free radicals are everywhere and they're the ones that you know contribute to uh aging or to they fasten the aging process so if you have an antioxidant it helps to slow down the whole process so since i've shown you, you you've seen me use this in a previous video today let's uh check out the vitamin c serum uh vitamin c you can get from different brands this one this is how it looks see yeah like that uh you don't need a lot and then for the vitamin c once you use it like before using us they work very well together with the sunscreen vitamin c and sunscreen so i love 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 to use it And again, CeraVe is such a good brand. It's a very reputable brand for vitamin C. By the way, you've got to be careful <laughs> while you're buying it. Vitamin C is very like light sensitive. It, it oxidizes really fast. So like if your vitamin C is in like a clear bottle, uh, you should question that because vitamin C is degraded by light. So you need it in like an amber bottle or like a tube like that one. Yani, just do your research. Do your research. Don't waste your money <laughs> thinking I'm, I'm getting the benefits of vitamin C. Yes, there is no vitamin C. So for me, the brands that really I, I, I incline more towards, and this is informed by the research that I've done from those uh, doctors on YouTube. <laughs> They're actually dermatologists, board certified dermatologists, right? Don't just go and look up um, what your favorite influencer is looking is using. It may not necessarily be the right thing. So make sure you get your information right. So for me, from what I've gathered, um, some of the brands that now have come to trust is like the CeraVe, The Ordinary, um, Simple, Ganya is also a very good brand. So yeah, those are some of the products, uh, I mean, the companies that I mostly uh, get my products from. So after that stage of treating, um, we now go to protecting. Now, during the day, for oh, me, uh, what are you protecting our skin against? Number one, dehydration. So you've got to get your moisturizer. This is the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion and it's affordable and it's a really nice product it's just a normal moisturizer without so much and 
what I have learned over time in my skincare journey, you I would rather spend more money on the serums other than moisturizers because just get yourself a basic moisturizer, good moisturizer. You don't you don't need a moisturizer that has vitamin C and and sunscreen and everything else. No, just get a basic moisturizer and then for the serum, go for the specific serums that you need. It's more effective that way. So, um, CeraVe moisturizing lotion. I've also done a whole video uh, reviewing it. You can check it out. So this is the first product in the protection um, uh, stage that we use. It's really, really moisturizing by the way. Really moisturizing and no smell. Like, it's just a good product. I absolutely love it. When it comes to the next ingredient, is sunscreen. So, um, <laughs> since I, I got paged, if you know about sunscreen, you know we either have the chemical sunscreen, or the mineral sunscreen. Okay, we also have combination that have both mineral and chemical. Um, so when it comes to sunscreen, as I was doing my research, I realized um, most dermatologists uh, really do recommend to use a mineral sunscreen when pregnant, but that doesn't mean that chemical sunscreens are bad. No, actually, you can still use it in so the concern is the sum of these chemical filters that are used in chemical sunscreens are actually absorbed in our blood system and so it may reach the baby and they don't know the effect or they don't have enough data to show like a chemical sunscreen can do this to the baby. Again, for pregnant women, um, you know, you can conduct uh, an experiment on a pregnant woman to just see how the, their baby will turn out. It's unethical. So what happens, they just use the existing data to advise people on what to use. But chemical sunscreen are actually safe. But there's that concern of, okay, uh, how about this that is being absorbed? It's just a concern, you know? So for me, I felt to be on the safest side. Why not just use the mineral sunscreen. Mineral sunscreen do not get absorbed to the blood system and they just work by reflecting the UV rays. That's how you pro you get protection from the sun. So I figured, you know what, I, I want to be on the safest side. <laughs> so I changed, I stopped using chemical sunscreen to mineral sunscreen, sunscreen and the one that I'm currently using is solar care. I love it. It's really, 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 really moisturizing, guys, and this is how it looks. So, I, that's just one of the things that I changed in my morning routine. I was like, you know what, I'm not going to use the chemical sunscreen anymore but they're not they're not that bad you know the choice is yours please do your research again do your research and decide but i found this is so easy i mean i'll actually be using this even after i'm done with all this pregnancy my nanos because it doesn't leave a white cast it's so moisturizing so i think i'm still going to be using this even after pregnancy See that? And there's no, uh, what is it called? White cast. So that's how my skin is looking in the morning. That's my skincare routine. It's very simple in the morning and even simpler at night. So I'm going to be showing you what I use at night. <laughs> Hello guys. So for the evening routine, we're going to start by again cleansing our face. I'm going to be using the Garnier um, Skin Active Pure Charcoal Cleanser. Uh, so actually, I use these two interchangeably because I feel both of them are great products. So, and this is how this one looks.
for my evening routine i've told you it's the simplest so i still use the antioxidants either vitamin c or the one that I, I showed you the ordinary resveratrol but what i dropped uh before i got pregnant um at night i used to use um retinol and i had been doing that for maybe about three months or something mm, but now um as I was doing my research, I realized retinol is actually one of those products that is not advocated uh, to pregnant moms. So I dropped it. <laughs> Basically, I dropped it. I removed it from my routine. Uh, the main purpose I was using it is uh, it's one of the most powerful anti-aging products. So that's why I was using it. So I had to drop it. And normally I use maybe vitamin c or resveratrol and then i use the same moisturizer which is the CeraVe moisturizing lotion but for today it's a it's my day for exfoliating um normally i do chemical exfoliation and i according to my research it's still safe it is safe for pregnant moms what i current i'm using currently is the ordinary lactic acid this i do honestly to be honest honest i think i do once in two weeks <laughs> let me switch up there yeah once in two weeks that's that's when i do it and this is how it looks so you do not have to do anything else and when i apply i'm just going to go to bed like i do not need to to use any other products so i'm going to use overnight and then now tomorrow i'm just this is how it looks it's like which uh which color is this yeah that's how it looks and i love it because it is um it is hydrating like even after applying i feel my skin is hydrated so i don't need to use any other thing and it's also it's it's, it's also a product that can um slow it's an anti-aging ingredient so as much as i shall stop it as much as i'm missing out on the benefits of retinol at least lactic acid is contributing to some extent um towards and aging and i love it i love the way it feels on my skin again moisturizing i i like to moisturize my my lips and for the longest time i've been using this Camex lip balm nice. so yeah that's what i've been using on my skin so far for my balm i use this i think it's part of skincare <laughs> let me just mention it i use this the palmas uh cocoa butter formula for stretch marks um this is what i have been using and actually i even used it uh during asha's pregnancy but let me just say for me personally uh it didn't like work 100 percent i still ha, ha i still got uh some stretch marks here and there but uh, probably they would have been worse i don't know so i'm still using it this time but for stretch marks actually it's more of um how your body is you know like genetically there are some people who will use nothing and they won't get stretch marks there are others like us you try the best products in the market and you still get them uh but maybe it reduces the uh what is it called the appearance actually it says it reduces the appearance so maybe it would have been worse i don't know but the sure way of uh reducing the appearance is making sure you hydrate hydrate very well and when you feel itchy use it yeah when you feel itchy use it instead of scratching your skin so, okay, let me see you on my next one tell them to subscribe subscribe to our channel and we're going to be seeing you on the next video bye guys